essential facilities and we can actually get this country moving, not completely and utterly from revenues from cannabis, but it'd make one hell of a good start given that we're that broke. Yeah. When the Misuse of Drugs Act was brought in here in the 70s, the idea behind it was, well, if it was going to be a success, was that drugs would become less accessible and cannabis would become less accessible. It also, apparently, the aim of it was that people would be less likely to take them and that the price would be driven up and no one would be able to afford them. Well, the reality is, 30 years nearly later, it has been proven without doubt that they are attempting to enforce the unenforceable. It has not worked, it will not work, and it never will work. Because the simple fact is, it is now easier than ever to get it. In many places it is as cheap as it ever was. And the only different the only thing that the only thing that could have changed between now and the 70s is that we could have had billions in the legitimate tax economy. People like Veronica Guerin would still be alive and we wouldn't have as many heroin problems in this country. Anyone who believes that legalizing cannabis would lead to more people using hard drugs should listen to the facts from Holland. According to the Trimbos Institute, a psychiatric think tank in, in the Netherlands or in Holland, an organization that carries out a survey of 5,000 people every six years. According to their survey, Dutch teenagers, less than one in a thousand of them experiment with heroin in a country where you can openly buy cannabis. The figure for Ireland is one in 60. So if you are a concerned parent out there and you, you want to make sure that your child is 90% less likely to try heroin, legalize cannabis now! Some people say that cannabis makes you apathetic. The only thing that cannabis ever made me apathetic to is bullshit. Thank you very much. Thank you.